Sergio Dalmaso has a vivid memory of how many times Argentina's economy has collapsed throughout the years. His grandfather started building carousels 60 years ago. But in this past months, he has been forced to sell some of the horses in this carousel to make ends meet. There is zero activity. I have never seen anything like this before. I understand the pandemic and the situation, but everything we've built is disappearing. I am selling the horses to pay bills. The horses sell for around $150 each. Dalmaso says in Argentina doing business is not easy because the rules of the game are constantly changing with the administrations. We cannot compete with China. First one government bans exports, the next government allows you to export but with more taxes. Now there's exchange rate controls and the wider situation. I had dreams that I could export my horses, but I feel it's over for us. Argentina's economy was already in trouble prior to the pandemic with inflation, recession and exchange rate controls. The government has announced that it has reached an agreement with foreign creditors on its sovereign debt. Many people here hope that this will help reactivate the economy and help this country put an end to its endemic economic troubles. The economic situation is so dire. Small businesses are shutting down. Poverty and unemployment rates are on the rise and foreign companies are leaving the country. On Wednesday, President Alberto Fernández announced credits and other measures to assist the industry sector and says his government has a plan. We needed to solve our debt crisis because we didn't have a horizon, knowing we had to pay $48 billion debt in five years. Now you will see our budget and you will see what we believe we can do, what our physical objectives are, and you will know our rules. No, nothing is being improvised. It is a difficult job in the worst scenario. But analysts say the government has a bigger problem. The main challenge for the government is to marry its discourse with its policies. And at the moment, we're traveling on two different tracks. So the, you know, the discourse is one of uh, you know, returning to some fiscal responsibility after the restructure with bondholders, renegotiating with the IMF, returning to growth, but then the policy measures that uh, the government takes don't really speak to that um, you know, rebuilding of confidence. In fact, they do quite the opposite. They undermine confidence in the economy. Lack of hope is what most Argentines like Del Maso feel these days, in a country struggling with a pandemic and with a history of economic strain. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Santa Fe, Argentina.